Welcome to the how-to guide for ServiceNow auto ticketing and approvals. To install ServiceNow, go to Setup, Connectors, and then Collaboration Providers in Harness. Simply add a collaboration provider, put in the name of your ServiceNow instance, along with the base URL, the admin, and password. Now, Harness is fully integrated with ServiceNow and supports many ServiceNow instances. Harness supports two use cases for ServiceNow. The first is the auto ticket deployment pipelines as the deployment actually executes themselves. So for example, what we can do is we can go into an existing deployment workflow and in a pre-deployment step, we can add a ServiceNow task. And what that will do is it'll create a new ticket and it will audit the deployment um, before the actual deployment occurs. And so we can take variables from the workflow and we can pre-populate tickets in ServiceNow automatically instead of people. We can also take the output of the ticket and keep it in the context of the pipeline. So if we want to update a ticket, so for example now, we can go to post deployment step, we can click service now, and we can update the same ticket once the deployment has occurred. So this type of feature allows us to audit every single step of a deployment pipeline within a service now ticket, all without humans manually updating tickets. So now you can see we've actually created a pre-deployment step and a post deployment step. What we're going to do now is create a new pipeline. So I'm going to add a pipeline called ServiceNow Pipeline. The first stage is it's going to deploy and it's going to use the logic we've just defined. So it's going to deploy and it's going to deploy using our Docker ServiceNow workflow. Once it's done that, stage two is going to be the second use case, which is a manual approval within ServiceNow. So instead of using the Harness UI or Jira, we can now use ServiceNow as the ticketing system, which is going to allow us to approve um, workflow in pipelines. So for example, we're setting up the approval criteria where we mark the ticket is resolved and the reject criteria is cancelled. So now what we can do is we can use the ticket as a means to approve and as a gate to a deployment pipeline execution. So let's run that pipeline to show what actually happens. You can see stage one is executing, and as part of the pre-deployment step, we're now going to create a ServiceNow ticket. We're now going to do the deployment, so you can see phase one of the deployment is going to actually install in Kubernetes. It's going to deploy the new artifact to the, the Kubernetes pods. Once that is complete, it's then going to verify to make sure the deployment is successful. And then we're going to mark the post-deployment within the same ServiceNow ticket. So now you can see Harness has gone in and it's actually updated the pre-deployment and the post-deployment steps. So all parts of the actual deployment itself have been captured in the ServiceNow ticket. Stage two is a manual approval. And now you can see the same ticket actually allows us to go and approve um, the actual deployment itself. So we can go in and we can change the state of the ticket. You can see the activity there from the pre-deployment and the post-deployment. We can go and change the state to resolved and then put in some resolution information. And when we click update, the actual event from approving or resolving that ticket will cause the pipeline to complete. So this is very useful if you want IT operations or DevOps to kind of control production environments using ServiceNow tickets. And as you can see, stage two is now approved. For more information, check out Harness.io.